Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. And a sad day as we have lost Formula One legend Sir Sterling Moss. The 90 year old has been out of the public eye for the last year or so as he has been in poor health for a while. But he is a true icon of Formula One's early years and one of the greatest of all time despite never winning a championship. Starting racing after the war, he won 212 of 569 races entered in a whole long list of different manufacturers of the time. He would make his debut in Formula One with Hersham and Walton Motors in 1951, finishing 8th at the Swiss Grand Prix. But he would make a name for himself with the Mercedes team in 1955, taking his first win at Aintree after a race-long battle with Fangio. He would take further wins in a Maserati in 1956 before moving to the Van Wall team and ending domination of Italian and German manufacturers. It was also between 1955 and 1958 that he would finish runner-up in the overall championship four times in a row, losing by a single point to Mike Hawthorne in 1958. He would have been champion but he vouched for Mike Hawthorne and prevented him from being disqualified. In his Formula 1 career, Moss would take 16 wins, the most for a British driver until Nigel Mansell overtook him in 1991. His final win was in 1961, shortly before the end of his Formula 1 career. He also finished twice in the Le Mans 24 hour race in 1953 in a Jaguar C-Type and 1956 in an Aston Martin DB3S. He was still racing in the early 1980s in the British touring cars, driving an Audi in 1981, shared with a young Martin Brundle. He would race classics long after this, not announcing his full retirement from driving until 2011 after the Le Mans Legends race, in which he apparently scared himself. He was 81 years old. He will always be on my list of best drivers ever, no matter what people say. I wasn't alive when he raced, especially not in his prime, but the footage I have seen, especially the 1955 British Grand Prix at Aintree, always stick in my mind as one of the greatest battles between drivers in any race in history. The master Fangio and the student Moss, a race-long duel that is truly magical to watch. If you can find footage, watch it. The other significant part of Sterling Moss's life is the Brooklyn's Museum, which he was a former president of. It's down the road from where I live. I have been there many times. It is a holy ground to motor enthusiasts. And if you have never been there, go. If you like cars and racing, you owe it to yourself. I will miss Sterling Moss. This is a goodbye to one of the greats and a true British racing icon. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.